Welcome to this year's first episode of the Upper St. Clair Update. I'm Maddie Groninger. And I'm Leah Kern. A team of Boyce Middle School 5th grade students came in first place in the annual History Bowl held at the Heinz History Center on October 29, 2015. The students competed against schools from throughout Allegheny County. The four challenges the students excelled in were a World War II tri trivia quiz, a Pittsburgh sports timeline, creating a Heinz promotional radio advertisement, and answering Pittsburgh A to Z questions in the Special Collections exhibit. The fifth graders on the first place team were Evan Sarkett, Pierre Kahn, Maya Lazarovich, and Nico Roth. Earlier this fall, USC hosted its annual Fall Band Festival. Here is Ben Nadler with a report. On Saturday, September 19th, Upper St. Clair High School hosted its 40th annual USC Marching Band Festival. The event featured not only the local high school marching bands, but the remarkable Upper St. Clair Alumni Band. We had the opportunity to talk to various alumni, including one of the high school math teachers, Mr. Corey Langley. We first asked what he played, but then also what he thought had changed in the band. I played the trumpet back in high school. They seem to be very very structured and, and have a, an impressive sound. I, I'm very impressed with what Mr. Pickell has done. Another alumnus, Leo Stankus, told us how he thought the band had changed. The, the, the kids are still seeing, I mean, they're still having fun. Same fun that I had back then. I didn't get to go out traveling. I never went to Disney World. We know the, the farthest we went, we maybe went to uh, Indiana. We also asked three alumni, Tammy Lentz, Melissa McGarrigal, and Jeff Kennedy, if they had formed any lasting friendships from their experiences in band. Yes, all of my current friends that I keep in touch with now are still in band. Um, we're, we're in marching band, and they're, they're the closest that I keep in touch with. My best friend was in the band as well, but it was more coincidental, and we're still in touch. Um, and I'm in touch with people, but it... They were friends, and we were in the band together, not necessarily because we became yeah. friends because we were in the band. Yeah. So, but, but it was all, you know, it's how we spent our time together, it's what we did. Yeah. There's still uh, there's still people, we, we, you know, we talk any, uh, all the time, we hang out anytime we're home, so yeah, I mean, absolutely. That's awesome. Um, you know, it was, it was, it, marching band was, was awesome. It was, uh, it's just something special. And finally, we simply wondered what pulled each alum back to the high school to be a part of the alumni band this year. To be playing in a marching band again, it's, I haven't done it since I graduated high school. To march on the field again, I haven't done that in a long time. To see a lot of people I haven't seen in so long. To see old friends and get to experience maybe marching on the turf field. We didn't march on the turf field. We did not. Seeing old friends, um, but also I've, I've been drumming since I was a baby pretty much, so it, just a chance to come back and actually do it for real is, is going to be fun. Despite some weather issues here and there, the festival was a roaring success, featuring the bands of Mount Lebanon, Cannon McMillan, Bethel Park, and of course our very own Upper St. Clair Marching Band, to name a few. This has been Ben Nadler for USC Update. The high school counseling department will be offering a study skills class beginning November 10th from 2.30 to 3 p.m. The five-week class discusses note-taking skills, time management, test preparation, test anxiety, and test-taking strategies. If you would like your child to participate, please ask him or her to stop in the counseling office to pick up the form or download the form from the counseling webpage. This year's fall play, Tartuffe, was performed in the high school theater in October. With more information from the cast and crew, here's Kelly Kaufman. The Upper St. Clair High School's production of Tartuffe opens on Wednesday, October 21st. The cast and crew has been working extremely hard for the past month in preparation. One of many important behind-the-scenes members, Ali Rive, works as the student director and attends every rehearsal while assisting the adult leaders. Since USC students are very busy with academics, we asked Allie, a junior, how she's able to devote so much time to the play and how she got involved. I wanted to get involved in public my freshman year and I didn't get in. So embarrassing. Um, and then my sophomore year, Lindsay Bono, last year's student director, bless her soul, um, made an announcement that said, I'm looking for a junior, is anyone interested? And I was like, I have a huge crush on Lindsay, of course. Um, yeah, so I wanted to get involved for a while. I didn't really know how. This was the perfect position. 
As the opening approaches, nerves are increasing as well. We asked a couple actresses how they prepare for a performance. Senior Rachel Van Risen has a very unique approach. I'm pulling all nighter because literally I just I sleep on stage. So, you know, try and stay as sleep deprived as possible so that those, you know, disease can be real. Allison Lento, a junior with the role of Miss Loyal, shares her secrets as well. I usually just go around talking my voice that I do for my character to everyone and everything with everything I say. The cast and crew spent hours on end together, rehearsing to perfection. So it's no surprise when Rachel tells us her favorite part about the fall play. People, like the same, you know, people I get to see them year after year and it's, it's just, it's a lot of fun. You know, there's a lot of bonding and even during like the off season when you're not in fall play, it'll be like you say some inside joke for fall play and everyone's just like totally dead laughing. Even from the other point of view, Allie agrees. No, I, I really do. I love the Fall Play family, and uh, it's really a good learning experience, I think. I've learned a lot about what goes into making a show and interacting with people, even not from the perspective of an actor. Yes, yes, of course. Go on. Since it's a high school production, of course there will be less serious practices. But one time we had people order a whole pizza, and everyone missed their cues because they were gathered around this, this box of pizza, and I had to, you know, I ate the pizza and then yelled at them. So, you know, a little more seriousness, but also that's what makes ball play so much fun is that we all, you know, have a good time and do wacky things together. Through the laughs from inside jokes to the stress of memorizing lines, there's no doubt everyone has bonded and is ready to open. I have a lot of confidence in our cast. They're talented, capable people, so I, I have a lot of faith that this is going to go well. How dare you talk that way? This has been Kelly Kaufman for USC Update. 14 Upper St. Clair High School students have been designated as semifinalists, and 21 have been named as commended students in the 2016 National Merit Scholarship Program conducted by National Merit Scholarship Corporation. USC students designated as 2016 semifinalists are Christopher Adamo, Garb Bruchon, Zion Chen, Jacob Heilman, Emily Hobart, Hunter Lansman, Serena Mock, Christina Park, Joseph Paul, Akshay Prasadan, Mohammed Rahman, Hannah Tiger, Stephen Wagner, and Ryan White. The Upper St. Clair Archery Club is ready to aim, fire, and shoot for a successful season this year, and reporter Ben Nadler spoke with members of the club. The Archery Club at Upper St. Clair High School has grown in popularity and size over the last few years. An array of students from grades 9 through 12 show up every Monday after school to fire some arrows in the club's practice space, the detention room. To get a better idea of the unique club's background, we spoke to high school senior and club president, Mary Liz Lucas. Freshman year, after doing the archery unit in gym class, me, Jenna, and Emily decided we wanted to do it all the time, so we approached Mr. Morton about the possibility of a club, and he directed us to Story Break. <laughs> we started with a school's really old equipment, so that was free, but then it took us around a year and a half to organize and fundraise enough to buy equipment that we could use in state tournaments. Leah Day, the vice president, gave us her reasons why people should join archery. Other people should join archery club because it's a really fun experience. I know it lets us let our anger out from school, that's our excuse for joining, but it's a really fun time and, um, you know, um, there's really no other place you can go and do archery like this, so it's a really nice opportunity. And club veteran, Brendan Scanlon, gave us his own reasons for joining archery. Um, it, it's a very accepting kind of club. Um, you don't have to show up to all the meetings. You can just um, show up to one or two if you've never shot a bow or an arrow or anything, and um, you just want to just want to see what it's like. And there's really no commitment. Um, and we go on a competition. We go to a competition at Penn State in March, I believe, and um, it's a really fun time. We asked Mary Liz to elaborate on the competition. It's in May. It's um, in State College by Penn State, and. We drive up there on like rental cars. This year might be big enough to get a bus. That would be even more fun. And we just shoot this year. I'm way more confident in our ability to crush everyone. And we couldn't help but ask about some favorite memories. Freshman year, whenever we were still like six girls in like a closet shooting arrows, um, 
Jenna twanged herself three times, all in one arm. One time, Mary Liz shot an arrow through the wall behind her. Was, um, um, there didn't used to be a wall there. It was just like um, like half of a wall. And um, she accidentally shot an arrow um, into the wall. So we always try to hit the deers on the corner of the targets instead of actually hitting the middle of the target. So that's always a fun time. We get really competitive with each other. Ready. This has been Ben Nadler for USC Update. Fire! Oh Steam Design Lab, a new elective for this year, provides some pretty cool student experiences. I sat down with Mr. Piskorski to figure out what they are. Okay, so the Steam Design Lab is a course where students apply human-centered design um, methods to solve real-world real, real problems. Um, so there's a, a book that has, uh, you know, methods that were sort of put together by this company called Luma Institute, and they're just problem-solving methods to help students focus on solving problems in a way that focuses on the human being rather than the actual product itself. I asked what students did for the first project in the course. So the, um, the first projects that they did for, for, the, for the course had to deal with school-related problems. So this, each student submitted a couple problems that they were having you know, within the school. Additionally, we solicited all the school uh, teachers and principals and administrators, and they all sent, or not all, but we got um, some responses about problems that they had within the school. I also asked what students had worked on for their first project. The students decided to work on um, a student drop-off and parking issue that you know, they, were, they were having with, with student dropping off um, and, and teacher dropping off at the same place. There was a bottleneck and a lot of trouble with people being late. Another team worked on um, having more students getting more access to Wi-Fi in different areas around the school. Uh, we had another team working on uh, reimagining how to use the library space and resources. And the final group was working on developing a, a, a method for encouraging more recycling within the school. Steam Design Lab will be available on this coming year's schedule form. For USC Update, this has been Tyler Lamb. 21 students and three colleagues from the USCHS Partner School in Leverkusen, Germany recently visited. Our friends from Germany visited New York City, Washington, D.C., and spent the majority of their trip in Upper St. Clair experiencing life with families in our community. This coming summer, the 21 Upper St. Clair host students will travel to Germany with a program sponsor, Ms. Deanna Baird, and other USC faculty members to live with the families of the same students they are hosting this month. The cultural exchange program with students from Germany has occurred since 1992, the longest running exchange program at Upper St. Clair High School. The Trombone Choir Club here at Upper St. Clair is unique in comparison to any other club offered at Upper St. Clair. Michael Gallagher spoke with club members on what makes this club so unique. <laughs> At Upper St. Clair, students have been improving their music talent skills in various clubs. The Trombone Choir meets every Thursday after school, led by President Pushkin Roy and drum major Kabir Khan. Another senior in the group is Rohith. He helps out whenever the other two seniors cannot be present that we get to play great uh, trombone music with our friends. It goes outside a lot of what the stuff we play in maybe marching band, concert band, or wind ensemble. It's specifically for trombones and it's a lot of fun because we play us a lot of stuff like, you know, uh, the Mission Impossible theme. And last year we worked a little bit on some songs from Bruno Mars. And hopefully we can do that again this year and it's going to be a lot of fun. The club accepts all grade and skill levels. Junior Tharun Reddy takes time out of his busy schedule to be in this fun group in order to play great music. Uh, well, Tremont Kai really gives us a lot of freedom to play whatever song that we really want to. It's not like what people tell us to play. We choose the music and it's a lot of fun. This has been Michael Gallagher reporting for USC Update. The Upper St. Clair Mentoring Program is by far one of the school's biggest accomplishments. The program allows juniors and seniors to mentor freshmen by going into their homerooms and giving them friends to talk to during the difficult high school transition. Mr. Marquis, one of the heads of the program, talked to us about what being in the mentoring program means to him. Uh, it means a lot to me. It's one of the things I'm most proud of being involved with. 
Um, it's the most fun by far of anything that I do, of all my responsibilities. Um, I get to hang out with kids, I get to make an impact on, on the school, so it's, it's a lot of fun and it's important. Allison Lippert, a senior super mentor, let us know about the changes taking place in the program. We're trying to get more like seniors involved this year and we want them to go back to homeroom and kind of stay connected with their sophomores now. So I think that's one of my biggest goals is to just keep the connection going so they don't lose it for senior year. Mrs. Hawes, a first year head of the program, discussed why she wanted to be a part of the mentoring program. I always wanted to be a part of the mentoring program because it's amazing to watch what the juniors and the freshmen, the relationships that are formed and how great of ambassadors that our juniors become for those freshmen coming into high school. Lastly, Mary Cagini, another super mentor, spoke about what being a super mentor means. I think the supers have a uh, cool opportunity not to mentor the freshmen, but to mentor the mentors at this point and to really get involved and see how they grow as uh, juniors and as people. The mentoring program provides huge supports for incoming freshmen and also develops lifelong friendships. Mentors will continue to have interactions with their freshmen throughout the year. This has been Leah Kern for USC Update. Upper St. Clair School District is proud to announce that Baker Elementary School is one of 335 schools nationally to earn a 2015 National Blue Ribbon Award. The 2015 National Blue Ribbon Award is the second received by Baker Elementary School, having first earned this distinction in 1998. The National Blue Ribbon Award program honors public and private elementary, middle, and high schools where students either achieve very high learning standards or are making notable improvements in closing the achievement gap. The award plaque affirms the hard work of students, educators, families, and communities in creating safe and welcoming schools where students master challenging content. The award flag grazing a school's billing is a widely recognized symbol of, ex of exemplary teaching and learning. Congratulations to Baker Elementary. The girls soccer team has made a deep run in the Whippeal playoffs and will be participating in the state playoffs. With a report on the team from earlier this season, here's Leah Kern. We sat down with a few members of the Upper St. Clair girls soccer team and talked to them about their current season. Bree Mergy, a senior, told us about the leadership on the team. We're all leaders, even the freshmen are leaders. I hear them talking on the field. The seniors especially, um, we have a big voice in the field, but every, pretty much everyone has a voice in the field, but the, the seniors really just take charge on the field and do what they can to get the team straight. Landy Mertz, a starting freshman for the Panthers, told us about her goals for the season. Trying to score some goals um, and just not just be like a member on the team, but try to make an impact on the field. She then talked about how the team is preparing to meet their goals. We're practicing a lot. We only usually have one day off, um, but we're just trying to like connect and bond as much as possible so I can help us on the field and um, just really grow as a team every single day. Riley Ford, another starting freshman for the team, let us know what the team does before big matches. Well, usually we all listen to music before games and kind of have a pre-game talk and our coach helps us like think about what we're going to do tonight and like what we have to focus on. Bree Murphy then told us what she expects and wants out of her senior season. Out of this season I want like a title. I want to go far. I don't want to just like win our section because we're undefeated now and um, just like go in the first round of playoffs and lose. I want to go like as far as we can. Our players are just so good and we are too good as a team to fail soon. Like we, you know, I don't want like the first round of playoffs to be my last soccer game. I want to go far and I want to get a title. <laughs> the girls USC soccer team is currently undefeated and number one in their section and in the Whippeal. We wish them the best of luck on the road to Highmark and this has been Leah Kern for USC Update. We are excited to announce that Mr. Alex Scheffler, a senior member of the high school mathematics department, was nominated for and recently received the University of Chicago Outstanding Educator Award. Mr. Scheffler was nominated by a former student for the award. This award speaks volumes about the quality of education that Mr. Scheffler provides to students as well as his commitment to carrying out the district's mission of ensuring happiness and success for all learners. If ever in need of a hand to assist in a technological computer problem, the Smart Desk helpers are the ones to turn to. Here's Tyler Lamb with more. The Smart Desk is a new independent study course at the high school that focuses on helping both students and staff with technology. 
I sat down with current junior Mike Debsky to see what he does at the Smart Desk. So I've been helping since the beginning of the Smart Desk, which was the beginning of my sophomore year last year. Um, I generally help with student and staff support, more hardware stuff, you know, Promethean board breaks, a computer won't log in. I asked him what he liked the most about Smart Desk. I love the freedom that the program gives us. It really allows us to have many opportunities that we wouldn't have elsewhere. It's almost like an internship. It provides us with so many different experiences. Over the summer, I helped out in the technology department. We worked on many different projects, iPads, laptop refurbishment, new laptops, new computers. It was so interesting, so rewarding, um, something that I would not have been able to do if I wasn't involved with the smart desk. I also got a chance to sit down with Ms. Despinis, one of the faculty advisors for the smart desk, to see what her role is. Um, Mrs. Rentschler and I are the faculty advisors for now for the Smart Desk, and we kind of divide the responsibility up. Mrs. Rentschler reads uh, four students' blogs. I read the other four students' blogs and comment. Uh, we make sure that the Smart Desk is accessible. We make sure that the kids are showing up um, when they're supposed to. Um, be on duty at the Smart Desk. We advertise the Smart Desk. Um, we send kids and teachers to the Smart Desk or have them email um, the Smart Desk if they need help with anything. I also asked about the class credits and how students are held accountable. The students involved with the Smart Desk uh, do this for a class credit, and so to make them accountable for what they're actually working on in the Smart Desk, they blog every week. Um, Mrs. Rentschler and I read the blogs, we comment on them, and the, the kids blog on their technology lives, what they're working on in school is part of the Smart Desk, and um, all of the kids do uh, technology things outside of the school, and so they're allowed to blog about that too. I also asked how students and staff can get in contact with the Smart Desk. They have a lovely website that they put together. It's smartdesk.uscstudents.org. You can always email them with any questions that you have at smartdesk at uscstudents.org. And if you ever need a Smart Desk student and you know, you're not sure where to go, just come and see Mrs. Rentschler and I in the library. We'd be happy to help you out. This has been Tyler Lamb for USC Update. The Upper St. Clair High School Marching Band was featured at the pregame of the Pittsburgh Steelers versus Arizona Cardinals football game at Heinz Field on Sunday, October 18th. Directed by band director and performing arts curriculum leader Mr. Don Pacal, over 130 instrumentalists and members of the marching auxiliary units performed during the pregame festivities. Mr. Pacal was assisted by auxiliary director Ms. Kira Hanna, drumline director Mr. Patrick Jones, and band announcer Mr. Paul Fox. Leading the performers on the field were drum majors Kabir Kuhn, Chad Hendricks, and Kara Ravazia. The boys' cross-country team had a successful season, and Michael Gallagher has more on the team season. The Upper St. Clair cross-country team isn't in the spotlight like football, but there are still great performances from these athletes. We asked Captain Bennett Sneath why he does cross-country and what his hopes are for the season. Well, there are a couple things I love about cross-country. The most important thing is the team. You know, everybody's out there cheering for each other. Everybody likes each other. I mean, these are some of the greatest friends I'm going to make in high school. All the kids on the team, and not even just the seniors, everybody on the team, because everyone's working towards the same goal. And I think a big part of cross country that most people don't think of is cheering on your teammates. And it's much more of a team sport than people give, give it credit. So uh, that's one aspect I love. Then on a more individual standpoint. I love the fact that cross country, it depends on how much work you want to put into it. So if you want to be good, you have to train and your results are going to reflect that training. So there's really no ambiguity in running. It's however hard you train, that's how good you're, it's how much you want it, which is, you know, a mindset I've always stuck with and relied on. And I really just love it. I love the independence. I love the self-motivation. All those aspects of running just really appeal to me. We have one of the best guys teams that we've had in since I've been here, since I've been a freshman. Um, hopefully today we can clinch maybe a six and two record, which would be fantastic to be the third best team in our section. And uh, I think we have a, a really good 
top five, especially with some people stepping up. We have some freshmen stepping up. Um, and we have three seniors leading the pack who I think have a chance to make states this year, which would be really something that's never happened before for USC, to have so many people in contention to make states. And I just think our team as a whole has so much more depth than it's had in a while. Great. Good luck to the team for their upcoming meet, and this has been Michael Gallagher reporting for USC Update. Thanks for watching this edition of Upper St. Clair Update. I'm Maddie Groninger. And I'm Leah Kern. Have a great day.